I'm John Ahern. I am uh, directing the Te Deum Fellowship in Music uh, run by Theopolis Institute. Um, I'm really excited to invite people to come join us uh, for a week in the summer and a week in January where we will be uh, discussing church music, we will be discussing liturgical music, and really this is a program that's oriented for uh, either pastors or church musicians, and we'd really love it to be both, uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, to come out and to experience the Theopolitan Liturgy, uh, to uh, talk really about how to move uh, your congregation, your parish, whatever it might be, uh, liturgically speaking, how to move from point A to point B. If you, um, if you have uh, some kind of worship and you feel a sense of dissatisfaction and you want to move in another direction, um, we want to equip pastors and church musicians to be able to talk about these issues with their congregation uh, and to work through with their congregation um, how to move forward in uh, both a short term but also in a, in a long term sense. So today we'll be focusing uh, on two aspects. Uh, one would be maybe the theoretical or strategic aspect of, of all these issues. Um, I'm really personally convinced that so many of the issues that we struggle with in American church music um, have their root uh, not in the questions of what, what we do on any given Sunday, what hymn we choose or what worship song we choose, but actually have a lot to do with broader cultural issues to do with the history of music, how we think about music in the arts, how we think about music as it plays a role in, in our society, in our daily lives, um, the kind of technologies that uh, prop up the music that we tend to listen to nowadays. Um, so all of those issues, I think, uh, play a pivotal role in uh, what we end up choosing or singing on Sunday morning, uh, but sometimes we're not aware of it. So that's going to be one, one big focus. Obviously, a, a big focus um, is just training in what the Western liturgical tradition is uh, and the riches that it has to offer um, with, a pro with a Protestant focus in this case, but, but really um, with a Catholic lens. Uh, so we'll look at uh, medi uh, medieval music. I'm a medieval musicologist myself. Uh, we'll look at uh, Eastern Orthodox music and, and music from a variety of traditions. But from all of those traditions, we'll be drawing lessons on um, how to do church music right now and how to do it in a, in a rich way. Um, and then the, the other half will, will swing more on the practical or uh, tactical end of things. So um, what do you choose on Sunday morning? Uh, what can you do right now to improve uh, your church music program? How do you pitch your congregation or your parish on moving the needle one direction or other musically or liturgically?